For centuries, humans believed reality existed independently of us. That mountains stood whether we looked at them or not. That light behaved the same way no matter who was watching. Then one experiment quietly shattered that belief. It's called the double slit experiment, and it suggests something deeply unsettling. Reality may not exist until it is observed. In the experiment, scientists fired particles of light, photons, at a solid barrier with two narrow slits cut into it. Behind the barrier was a screen to record where the particles landed. If light behaved like particles, it should form two clear lines on the screen. But that's not what happened. Instead, the photons created an interference pattern, a wave-like ripple, as if each particle somehow traveled through both slits at the same time. Already strange. But then the scientists did something simple. They added a detector to observe which slit the photon passed through. The moment the experiment was observed, the interference pattern vanished. The light suddenly behaved like particles again. Not slowly, not over time. Instantly. As if the act of being watched forced reality to choose a state. Even more disturbing. When the detector was turned off, the wave pattern returned. Reality changed depending on whether someone was looking. Later versions of the experiment went even further. In the delayed choice experiment, scientists decided whether to observe the particle after it had already passed the slits. And somehow, the particle still responded retroactively, as if it knew the future decision, as if reality waited. Physicists tried to explain it away with math and probability, but the result remains the same. Particles exist in a state of possibility, not certainty, until observation collapses them into form. Some interpretations suggest consciousness plays a role. Others claim the universe constantly measures itself. But no explanation fully removes the unease. Because if observation defines reality, what happens when no one is watching? Does the universe exist when consciousness doesn't observe it? Or are we participants, not just witnesses, in the construction of reality itself? The experiment doesn't answer those questions. It only leaves us with one chilling conclusion. Reality is not fixed. It is conditional. And it may be waiting for you to look.